For those who are new to QuickBase, ordering fields, adding sections, including text and labels, will help organize your forms. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. This quick guide will show you how a well-arranged form can make using QuickBase a whole lot more user-friendly. To demonstrate arranging fields on a form, I've created a new app called HR Employee Tracking with these new fields. With the fields added, I can now view my form by adding a new employee. You've probably noticed this before, but when QuickBase adds new fields to a form, it does so sequentially in the order that I added them. So here you'll see each of the fields that I added in sequential order. This isn't always the most helpful when it comes to filling out a form. So let's see our customization options. On the Elements tab of the form customization, I can see all of the fields that have been added to my form. Scrolling to the bottom, I see there's space to add additional fields. Here I can choose any of the elements to add a new field. I can also choose to remove a field. So for example, if I didn't want the date of birth on the form, I would highlight it and click remove. I could then insert a new line and then choose in this case, let's go ahead and just add back date of birth. I can also move items up or down. So let's move employee source which is how the employee heard about us or how we uh, identified them for hire and move that up next to the hire date. I can also take their last review rating and move it up next to the position that they may have been reviewed for. In addition, you'll see these checkboxes on the right with the title same row. These checkboxes allow me to place two fields next to each other on the same row. So with that same example of the last review rating, let's place that on the same row as the position. I could also put the employee source on the same row as the hire date. I may also want to place age next to date of birth. Let's take a quick look at how this looks. We could either use the preview or the save option. I'm going to use save. Okay, now we can see that we have several of our fields located on the same row as another field. While I've only placed two on the same row, you can actually place more than two on the same row. Probably don't want to do more than three or four, but it's possible to add multiple fields along the same row. Now it still looks a little cluttered this way. Let's take a look at how we can divide this into different sections. I'll go back into the form customization, and now let's add some sections. I'll add a section before department to separate it from the employee name and the employee number. I'll choose this row and click insert. This inserts a row above the item I'd selected. And then I'll choose section heading. I can give this section a name. I'm going to call it current position. And you'll notice several different options here that section can be expanded or collapsed by default the field labels can appear either above the fields or to the left. Let's add another section. Let's place this one just above the higher date. So I'm going to insert, add a section heading, and I'll just call this one date. And we'll see what this looks like with the field labels above the fields. I'll add one last section before the date of birth for personal details. With these changes, let's see how it looks. I'll click Save. Now you can see these different sections. I've got a section for current position with the field labels to the left, another section for date with the field labels above, and if I scroll down, I've got another section for personal details, again with the field labels to the left. Now it's starting to look much more organized. Along with the section breaks, these can be expanded or collapsed. Like I said, you can change the default setting, but individuals can choose whether they want them expanded or collapsed. But let's go back into the customize some more. There's also the option to add tabs to your forms. These are similar to sections, only it puts it in a tab instead of a section. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll change this last section heading here to a tab, and I can choose a tab color. Let's make it... 
I'll click Save. And notice our tab has shown up all the way at the bottom of the form. Now, this probably isn't what we want, so what we'll need to do is add another tab at the top of the form. Let's go back in and customize. And I'll insert space here for another tab. Let's call this tab Employee Info and give it a nice color. I'll make it green. And now when we save, you'll notice everything from the first tab will be on the first section and everything on the second tab will be on the next. So now we've got our employee info. You can see here we've got the details at the top, the current position and the date, and then we've got the personal details on a separate tab. Going back to our employee info, the form customization also allows us the option to add text, so we can add any text we want to the form. This is great if you have instructions or other details that you want to leave for the people who will be using the form. So let's go into our form settings, and I want to add a note just before hire date. So I'll select hire date and insert, and then choose the text option, and here I'll add my text. I can save my form. And now I can see on my form that text for the higher date. If you want more information on how to use the text field on forms and ways that you can customize the text, making it bold, uh, larger, or adding color, check out my HTML cheat sheet. The link will be below. The one last thing I want to show you is how you can change the labels. We'll go back into the form customization. We don't have to settle to the default uh, field names. We can choose an alternative label. We'll select the field and then click on Use Alternative Label Text. So let's say I just want to call this name. And then employee number, let's call that EMP number. With these alternative text options, we can now save and view the changes. Well, that's how you arrange fields on a form. You can also move the fields around, add and delete fields, place them on the same row, add sections or tabs, add text, and change labels. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if this helped you out. And once you have everything where you think it should be, go ahead and ask some of the people who will be using the form what they think. QuickBase makes it easy to make changes. To learn more about the field settings and personalization options, check out my video on the 7 must-know form properties on the QuickBase Junkie blog. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBase.